while since I posted my last video, but um, I haven't really been feeling like posting or like feeling like God's been wanting me to post or even like, I know posting is an act of obedience within my relationship with God because it's something I'm uncomfortable with, but I was like, I don't really feel you Lord within this right now. Um, but then recently, I've been really digging deep into trying to get closer with God again. And just like, I kind of realized the <laughs> importance of spending time with Him every day and just like setting aside time, which is something I would do pretty much every morning, even before this. But just, I think out of second nature and just like feeling like that's what I need to do. Whereas like now it's something. I crave and it's something I want to do and it's something I'm excited for and it feels so good like I started watching sermons every morning now and just I have my instrumental worship music going on in the background to just kind of set the mood and just kind of get rid of distractions and it's been so nice and I've just been craving Jesus more and God is so good. It's just so good. And I, I feel his presence even right now within this. Because I didn't want to post right now. I felt Holy Spirit was like, you should make a video. And I was like, eh, I want to get ready first. Like I look, like I just woke up because I pretty much did. But anyways, this is obedience. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to say that God is really good. Because he really deserves all the glory. Um, God has helped me through so much in my life, and he's brought me to a new place, which is so cool. I moved. Um, I'm renting out a room from a really kind woman I've known for a lot of my life. And God's been helping me with finances and with work, and he's just provided for me time after time again, and he's so good. Um, yeah. And I just feel his hand within my life now, more than I felt in a while. And it's just really cool to recognize God and just... If I could encourage you to do one thing, you would be to just spend time with Jesus. But also figure out why in your life you need God. You know, figure out why you want to have a relationship with Jesus. Really figure out for yourself why you even have a relationship with Jesus. You know, why is it that you believe in God? What in your life do you feel like has made you become a Christian or why do you even want to be a Christian? You know, what about you do you feel like you believe in God for or just I don't know, it's really helped me to really take a step back because I grew up Christian and I grew up with like being Christian organizations, a Christian family, kind of whatever. I grew up going to church. So like that was just inst instilled in me from such a young age. But then very recently I was like, well, why am I a Christian? Because everything I was doing was just second nature, reading my Bible every day. Obviously, it's good, and like I still got so much goodness from that and everything. Like God is still so good, but I really wanted to like dig deep and just be like, why do I have a relationship with God? Like my own personal relationship. Why do I, right now, want to serve God? Why do I want to continue to allow Him to use me? Why do I want to give my life to Him and trust Him with my life? And like, what about me now wants to? be a Christian, if this is making sense. Because I think for a lot of us, it's just been like what we've been taught. And then we don't really make that personal choice when we're older. And I don't know, I just, I don't know. I see it with the people around me. Everyone that I know of has different upbringings and different cycles of their relationship with God and that's completely okay and really has been cool to see how God's worked in so many of the people's lives around me. Um, but for me, it was really just a matter of like, why am I doing this? Like, am I being a Christian because 
my family was Christian, my being Christian because the friends around me are Christian, like why do I want to serve God? And for me, that's really helped my relationship with God now because I, I've come to the realization that I literally have basically no will to live if I do not have God. Which is hard to come to terms with, but truthfully, I don't want to live the life that I have if I don't have God. Because when I don't have Jesus, when I don't feel like I've been spending enough time, not even that, when I don't prioritize God in my life, everything else goes to complete crap. And I start to think back on the past of things that happened in my life and I start to dwell on those things and I start to get depressed and I start to get really, really anxious. And everything in my life goes to crap, it's so bad. Like I start to worry about everything and I start to overthink everything and I start to get so insecure and the devil just has a field day with my life. And I, I hate feeling like that. I don't want to feel like that. I need Jesus. Every day I need Jesus. When I hit rock bottom two years ago, God was the one who brought me up from that. It was God, like Jesus, like it was him. I need God and I want God and God brings me so much joy and love and light into my life and I'm such a better person when I have Jesus and I'm so much happier and he just, he makes me feel loved and wanted and I have purpose with God and I mean he created me, he created you and I don't know, I just, I think finding that reason for yourself is really important and can really help grow your relationship with God and can really help you understand why you need God in your life and why all of us in unison need God because we all need him, every one of us, whether we realize it or not. Maybe you already figured out why you love God or maybe you're just like, well, that's easy. Like, I love God because he loves me and like, he's so good, which is good too. But I just, I don't know. I definitely think it's okay to question your faith and it's normal to do that and it's normal and it's okay to ask questions and to talk to God about it and to talk to other people about it because that's normal and I think if your relationship with God is just perfect all the time I'm confused and I'd love to have a chat because it's hard to have a relationship with God and it's hard to make time for him in the midst of a busy schedule or friendships or relationships it's hard to even prioritize god and put him first in your life and to you know not idolize those around us or things around us more than we put god first it's hard for a long part of my life recently within this past year i've been putting others above god and i've been idolizing others over god which was not good <laughs> um, at all but even through that just through me questioning God and my faith and the reasonings behind it it's really helped me to just be like wow what was I doing and also like no one in my life is ever going to bring me real 110,000% joy or comfort or peace like God does. We need God and if we don't recognize our need for him, it's not good. It's not good because I think even when our lives are going so good, it's hard to really turn to God and it's- I've come to this um, mindset a few times where it's like, oh, I already read the Bible, like I already know the stories, like I don't have to read it again today because I read it yesterday and like I already know everything that's gonna happen, like I'm just like thinking over the verses in my head. But it's like God can literally use every single moment of your life to speak to you afresh and to like reinstate things into your life if you just let him. Even if you don't want to read your Bible, spend some time in worship, read two minutes of your Bible. Like God will literally work through every little moment that you just allow him to work through. If you just give that time to Jesus, he'll use it because he loves you and he wants you and he, I mean, he wants a relationship with you and he wants you to want a relationship with him and to be willing to just let him move 
um, yeah, it's not to say God did you need God, it's not to say life is perfect when I have God, because it's not, um, but it's so much better, and it helps me because I know that, I mean, no matter what, even if I don't have anyone else, I have God, and it helps me to know that my identity is found in Him, that He is my creator, so like, hello, no one knows me better than God does. I can talk to him about literally anything and he places people in my life that I feel comfortable with now that I can talk to and open up with, which has been so good and he's been helping me to be more vulnerable and be more honest and to not shut myself down and not isolate myself when things get hard because that's a tendency of mine. But I mean, through God, it's been helpful to know that like I have others around me who do love me and I know that it's better for myself and for even for my friends that I don't isolate myself during times where I feel upset because it's not fair to them, it's not fair to myself, but yeah, I don't know what message you're going to take from this, but um, I just want to encourage you if you haven't already to figure out why God is number one in your life, why you're choosing to be a Christian. Because I think in difficult times, when you're questioning your faith or when you're going through a hard time, when you're upset with God, when you're upset with yourself or even others around you, you can go back to that realization of like, oh yeah, that's why I follow God. That's why I believe God is a good God. Because then, then you have that. Like for me, when I'm feeling down and when I'm even angry with God, when I'm feeling insecure, when I'm feeling afraid, I go back to the fact that like literally God is my strength. God is my helper, he is my shield, he is my refuge, he's my father. Like God is the one who helps me the most in anything. So when I go back to just like feeling afraid or anxious, I'm just like, oh, I just need God. Like I just need him. At the end of the day, it's gonna be him on judgment day, judging us, no one else around us. No one else, not your parents, not your spouse, not your friends, not your family. It's you and God. It's your relationship with God is the most important relationship you could ever have. So just go back to the root cause of why you need Jesus. Why Jesus is your savior, why you're choosing to follow him. If you have that and you know that, it's gonna help you so much with your walk with God. You can always turn back to that. You're like, oh yeah, that's why. And if you stumble and you need reminders, like that's gonna help you. And it'll probably re-remind you that reasoning when you're going through hard times and that's completely okay. God just really loves you so much and he's so patient. Um, and I just want you to know that you're not alone with whatever it is you're going through and that it's gonna be okay and you're gonna be okay and that God sees you, and he knows you, and he knows your beginning from end, and every single day is a new day. If you ask for forgiveness, you're forgiven. God doesn't keep a record of wrong. Your sins are forgotten and forgiven. So don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on what happened 30 seconds ago. If you've asked for forgiveness, you are forgiven. If you repent of your sins, you are forgiven. If you turn away from your sins, you are forgiven. If you fall back into your sins, and you ask for forgiveness, you're forgiven. God is not like man. He does not hold grudges or keep, you know, a record of wrong or waver in his trust for you. God isn't like that. God's love for us is so incomprehensible and so beautiful. But if you could just rest in the fact that God loves you and has forgiven you and literally just wants your heart, just wants a relationship with you. And is here to help you through every single aspect of your relationship. You know, recognizing it's not going to be easy all the time. There is a devil who does hate you and he does want the worst for you. But it's God who is stronger. The battle's already won. Like, prophesy, look in Revelation. Like, literally, God's already won. The devil's just trying to take you down while he can because he, know that he, he knows that he is lost. So if he can bring you down and make you lose with him, he will. And that's what he wants. But guess what? We already know what happens. God already wins. God is so good. And man, just don't waste your life here on earth trying to please others. Don't waste it trying to try to achieve everything and get the most money you can and be the most popular, whatever it is. Like, guys, 
number one, it doesn't really matter that much at the end of the day. Number two, like, are you happy? Like, do you have God? Are you putting God first in your life? Are you being obedient to God? Like, do you feel satisfied? Because I didn't. And I came to the realization that I need God. I need him. I'm so unhappy without Jesus. Like, he literally, ah, he's so good, guys. So I want to just encourage you to spend time with God today. And really just pray and ask him even to just reveal to you why he's important in your life and why he is someone that you need. Um, yeah. I don't know, it's just helped me a lot. And if it can help you, awesome. And if you've already done that, awesome. Um, <laughs> but yeah. God's just so good. And I really hope that you have realized that. And if you haven't, gosh, perfect time is right now. Finish this. Go click off this video. Go spend some time with Jesus. Okay? <laughs> he loves you so much. I hope you really have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I hope you just know without a shadow of a doubt that God loves you no matter what. Even if you can't love yourself, know that you are loved by God. Because God doesn't lie. And it says in the Bible so many times, God loves us. He loves you and he created you. And he has a purpose for your life. And your purpose could align with the dreams that you personally have. Because God also knows your heart and he places dreams and people and plans in your life. And you can still be used by God wherever you are. You can still be a light for God wherever you are. But just give your life to God and trust him and do it again every day. It's a choice. It's not easy, but it is worth it. And God helps us through every single bit of our relationship with him. So yeah, just go spend time with Jesus if you can. Um, talk to him. Even if you're busy right now, you can still pray in your brain um, in your mind. Yeah, God loves you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening. Go spend time with, with God, okay? <laughs> okay.